today we colloquially use the term stoic to describe someone who remains calm under stressful situations. Stoicism is an ancient Greek philosophy developed by Zeno, who was inspired by the teachings and life of Socrates. You see, Stoicism is a very valuable operating system for life. It offers solutions for modern people who basically, they're not necessarily religious, but they do want to have a moral compass based on humanist values and principles. So what lessons can the Stoics teach us today to counter your fear, my fear? For example, with regards to the coronavirus. The first is knowledge is power, okay? Especially scientific-based facts, things that have been proven. Second, with COVID, that means that you have to understand things like how the virus spreads. That means that we have to look into how the virus spreads, what is the, the symptomatic range, and how simple measures like social distancing and hand washing can dramatically alter the impact of the virus. It can lessen the possibilities of us getting it. Second, the Stoics will tell you don't dramatize things. Describe things as objectively as you can. Just stick to the facts. No need to dramatize. No need to exaggerate. As Stoics, we practice cognitive distancing. In Greek, the word is ataraxia. Ataraxia is the word that means to be unshakable. Essentially, it means we Stoics create separation between our mind and our ailments by distancing, disassociation. So instead of saying, I am sick, we say, my body is sick. My leg is you know, wounded. Um, it's not something personal, okay? And this significantly changes how we view illness and the impact on the quality of our life. When we can be above it all, by doing so, we can maintain a functioning, rational mind without succumbing to the noise that's in our head, all the physical, you know, psychological noise and fear-based thoughts. We Stoics also meditate on our death every day. This practice is called memento mori. It's Latin for remembering your own death. Be happy for this moment. This moment is your life. So when you know that your time on earth is limited and you reflect on this every day, you cherish each moment. You leave your business in order. Now all of this is not so easy. It requires prosohi, and that's the Greek word for mindfulness. The result is inner peace and harmony. And isn't that what you really want?